Hey, it's Mike with Carbonize This. Really cool video today. We've got a new biochar kiln that our buddy Ben from the Holler Homestead built us and some neat items that his kids have given us to carbonize. If you guys watch the Holler Homestead, you'll know Buggy. Buggy came up to me and asked me to carbonize this. It's a honey locust thorn and honey locusts are known to pop tractor tires. And you can see the thorns of a honey locust have thorns of their own. We're gonna do an experiment with this honey locust thorn. First, we're gonna show you how sharp it is by popping this balloon. Next, we're gonna carbonize this thorn and then we're gonna see if it can still pop a balloon or if it'll just crumble. Ben gave us two whole loofahs to run through the retort. We've taken one of them and peeled it, sliced it, and soaked it in minerals. Let's go over the design of the new kiln. So with this design, he took a heating oil drum and then took two 55 gallon barrels, cut the bottoms out, welded them together, and inserted them inside of the heating oil drum. This is the firebox of the kiln and we've got a door on both sides. So we'll be able to load wood on each end and also remove ash from each end of the kiln. We'll light a fire under here and then it'll heat these barrels, which will be sealed except for a small hole that I've drilled inside. I drilled a hole in the bottom of the barrels so that the volatile gases will escape and go down into the firebox to be burned off. When we get the fire going in here, the flames will wrap around the barrel, heating it up really well. And then the smoke will exit out the stack. Thanks, Ben. We're gonna add the honey locust thorns that Buggy gave us right here. This loofah was potassium permanganate and it actually caused it to dissolve. So we dipped another one real quick. We also added cotton balls soaked in each mineral as another experiment. We're gonna go ahead and load this tray in the retort and then put a lot of wood in the back to make some biochar for our garden. We're also gonna load the whole loofah underneath the tray. Can't wait to see how it turns out. We loaded some wood in the back of the kiln along with our experiment for this first test run. Time to light the new kiln. So this is the first burn in the new kiln. Let's see how things turned out. Moment of truth. It looks great. Now we did get some ash in the back on some of the wood. So that means oxygen is getting in, but everything else looks like it carbonized great. So if you notice here in the back, there's a lot of water sitting there. What we've learned with the retort this size is we're gonna have to add a lot more wood or even do a second run to get things to fully carbonize. That being said, with this loofah being so thin, it looks like it's carbonized completely. We're gonna check it out. And if it didn't, we'll, we'll just know that next time we need to run it for hotter and longer. So looking on the outside, you can see that the the outer layer bubbled up and that happened with the banana that we did. And then it's got kind of a glossy shine to it and it seems pretty fragile. Let's see if we can get this outer layer off. There we go. And there's a little bit of bronze. We see that a lot. Yeah, and it's just as fragile as other items that we've carbonized. So this is wet because it was sitting in the water in the retort. So that's why we're not getting that, you know, nice crisp break or that clinking sound. But let's see what it looks like in the middle. We're gonna try to cut it open to see if we can show you guys the different layers. There we go, and yeah, it carbonized completely through. Now let's see how the mineral soaked slices did. Lufa is a natural sponge, which is why we wanted to try this. I'm gonna carefully move the honey locust thorn. So you can see there are slight variations in each one of these, but we didn't get that dramatic color change like we were hoping for. We'll have to do more experiments later. We will break open one of these cotton balls to see. It just made it turn to powder. <laughs> That's the calcium carbonate in it. 
This is the honey locust thorn, and it looks just as sharp as it did before. It does feel a little bit lighter, and I can see it's kind of breaking right there, so it might be a little bit brittle. We're gonna go ahead and still do the balloon test. Just picking it up, it broke, so maybe the balloon has a chance, but I don't think so. That looks pretty sharp. All right, let's see what happens. No, it's not popping it. Let me try again. The balloon won. <laughs> I did not expect that. It looks so sharp. So yes, you can dull thorns by carbonizing them. That really surprised me. I'm shocked that this thorn couldn't pop the balloon. So thank you, Buggy, for giving me this to carbonize. It's time to break these up. There's some of the seeds right here. That's a lupa seed. Let's see what's left of this thorn. Let's see if I can break it without poking myself. Yeah, it's just brittle as can be. And I'll crush these. Easy peasy. Be sure and check out Ben's channel, The Holler Homestead. They're really great people. They've got some cool things going on. And thank you, Ben, for building this retort for us. We've got some big plans for it, and we learned a lot in this first burn. We'll see you next time.